So today I'm talking about a U0001 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a U0001 code? Well, it's a high speed CAN communication bus. And what does this mean? Well, basically there could be multiple computer modules inside of a vehicle. There could be a transmission control module. There could be an ABS control module. There could be an engine control module, a body control module, and so on and so on. And so all these computer control modules, they all need to communicate mainly back to the main computer called the ECM or the PCM. And so to do this, they have what they call the CAN bus or the control area network bus, which is basically all the wires running between all the control modules and the interface at each control module. You can kind of think of the CAN bus like Ethernet inside of a home going between a bunch of computers and how they're all networked together. The CAN bus or the controller area network inside of the vehicle is just basically all the wires running around to everything between all the computer control modules and the interface at each board. And when you get a U0001 code, the computer's seeing that there's some kind of problem going on with this, that all the computer modules are not communicating correctly, and so there's some kind of issue going on, and it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. And one thing to note about this code is that it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot sometimes, since you can be dealing with wiring and computer control modules and things like this. Sometimes it can be something simple, and you can't go through the basic stuff and be sure that's all good. But just keep in mind that sometimes this code can get problematic, and it can be difficult to troubleshoot. And so what are some possible causes of a U0001 code? Well, the first thing that can cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the battery or the alternator, like the vehicle's not charging correctly, because basically all these different computer control modules, they all need a stable, good power supply in order to work correctly. And if they don't, then they could throw them off. They could just cause them to do strange things and just cause problems. So the first thing to do is go check your battery, be sure it's good. Be sure the alternator is charging correctly and things like this. If you have a multimeter, you can start up the vehicle and check to see what the alternator output is. Most vehicles are gonna be between 13 and a half and 14 and a half volts. And usually if it is 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts, then it means the alternator is charging. If it's too low, then there could be an issue. Or if it's too high, then it can also be an issue. Some newer vehicles these days have what's called a smart alternator. So you might have to look up what your alternator is rated to be running at. But a really quick method to check and be sure that the vehicle's charging correctly is to use a multimeter and just be sure that it's charging in between 13 and a half and 14 and a half volts. But the first thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the battery or with the alternator. The next thing to go and check is be sure that there's no blowing fuses or bad relays or anything like this. Which fuse to check is going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, different things like this. But basically, if you go through and check all your fuses, and mainly all the fuses that have to do with computer control modules, and so this is going to be anything labeled like ECM or PCM or ECU or anything along these lines. But the next thing that causes this is a blown fuse. And the next thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. And this is going to be something like a bad connection, an open, a short, something along these lines. Basically, all these wires running around to all the different computer control modules. They need to be checked. You can check the connections and be sure they're seated all the way in. You can check the pins and be sure that they look like they're good. Sometimes when these are located up inside the engine compartment, the connections can get grease on them, different things like this that can cause issues. Also, all these different computer control modules, they need a good ground wire that goes around all of them. And if they don't have a good ground, then that could cause problems and cause issues. If you have a jumper wire, quite often what you could do is you could jumper to the case and then jumper to a good ground and then just see if the air clears. Because if these control modules have a bad ground, then that can cause issues. And the last thing on the list is going to be that one of these control modules has gone bad and it needs to be replaced. Quite often when these control modules go bad, they actually get burnt components on the board. Not all the time. These boards can go bad and there's no damaged components on them or there's no burnt spots or anything like this. But it is common that when these go bad that they do get some kind of burnt spot on them or one of these caps blow up or something along these lines. And so for this reason, if you can locate these computer control modules on your particular vehicle and you can go around and just check to see if you smell anything burnt, if there's any kind of burnt smell around them or anything like this. Because if they do have burnt spots on them, then you know that they failed. You can't even open these up and examine them and check to see what's going on inside of there. But the last thing on the list is that one of these computer control modules has gone bad and it needs to be replaced. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the U0001 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.